Welcome back. This is Dreas with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We're in week 15 now of uh, the fifth season that we're going here. And uh, as I say this fifth season, I can just brings me to the amount of subscribers that have subscribed to me and to the people that watch my content. And I just have to say thank you. Very, very grateful for each and every one of you that is here. Never take anything for granted, but uh, absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. We are nearing the end of uh, the regular season now, uh, and it's really been a very good season. We've got four more games to play. We've got the Lions, we've got the Bills away, and then the Jets at home, and then the Patriots away. Funnily enough, Patriots away was the first game I ever played in uh, in this <laughs> in this franchise series. So, kind of, I mean, that has to mean something, right? <laughs> Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the playoff picture right now. We are still in the divisional uh, playoff round here, straight through past the wild card round. That is great because it means that our players will be able to rest and have one more week to to uh, prepare for the for the game. Um, I do want to keep that up, um, but uh, yeah, that should uh, that should definitely definitely work. Um, weekly awards. Let's take a look here. We've got Bijan Robinson, of course, 33 carries, 183 rushing yards, 5.5 rush average, one touchdown, four receptions, 55 receiving yards, 13.8 on average, and one receiving touchdown. So, brilliant performance by Bijan Robinson, who has had a fantastic season so far. If you look to the right, he is also the rushing leader right there, with one, uh, 1,754 yards. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I don't see any other uh, dolphins down here or anywhere, so we're gonna leave it at that right now. Uh, we're not gonna negotiate with any players, uh, so we're gonna dive straight into uh, the roster of the Lions because they do look scary. 95 offense, that is gonna be tricky. Uh, overall, I would say we are looking quite balanced, right? Of course, their differences were slightly higher, but on the uh, you know, on the quick look overall, I would say that uh, we are definitely, definitely very close to each other. All right, here we go. And this is uh, one player, a name that has popped up straight away. Tyler Buckner is currently the best quarterback in the league uh, in terms of ratings. Here he's the 12th best rated, uh, ranked quarterback. But in terms of production, he is the highest rated. Uh, 23 years old out of Notre Dame. Uh, superstar Dave Trade with a, with that weird hair glitch back there. If you take a look at it, it turns into a mullet in certain positions, and otherwise it's just this strange pointy hair thing out of his head. But yeah, let's not let's not get caught up on that one. Uh, we've got Kellen Bond here as the backup, and uh, Reed Sutfin the same thing. Tyler Buckner certainly uh, very very dangerous. Antonio Gibson from the Washington Commanders is the starting halfback elite, I would say. Tank Bigsby behind him, 2482. Philip Stackhouse is also here. Uh, then we've got fullback Dorian Thomas, then the wide receiver room. Let's take a look here. Jameson Williams, 96 overall with a start of trade, age 25. Really, really super solid wide receiver. Just take a look at those stats. There's hardly any, any kickbacks here. He's really looking very, very good. We've got Mike Evans. Uh, he's a mentor now, the former Buccaneer. Now we've got James Washington. Where did he come from, James Washington? Let's take a look here. Uh, he was with the Pittsburgh Steelers, then the Dallas Cowboys uh, for a year. All right. We've got Emeka Igbuka, uh, Levi Levy, <laughs> and Rodney Gallagher. Um, this is a really nice uh, and balanced uh, wide receiver room, I have to say. For two elite players. Uh, then a very good one here solid players down here that will grow uh, the lions are really the lions are one of my favorite frenemies i have to say really really liking them tj hawkinson is here still the tight end of course he switched over uh switched teams i think if i remember correctly he's now with the vikings uh but here we go he's the fourth best ranked tight end in the game at the moment 99 overall start of trade out of iowa jonathan colbert aaron clinton Brennan Paracek complete this room. Also dangerous uh, on the offensive line. 
we've got left tackle Andrew Thomas, 93 rated. Sullivan Absher uh, behind him. Aaron Banks, uh, the left guard. We've got Roman Skinner behind him. Centers Frank Ragnow, 96 rated. Very, very strong. Steve Aquila, he is looking super nice. I would actually use Steve Aquila probably as one of the guards. Oh, if that makes any sense. Uh, Nate Davis is a right guard. Kalush Schott is behind him. And they've got Nick Fadik. I don't know. I'm not, not fully agreeing with the left guard situation here, especially if we have such nice players on right guard, but it doesn't matter. Right tackle is Pene Sewell, superstar Dave Trade, 99 rated at age 25 out of Oregon. Uh, we just moved on his brother, so no hard feelings there. And Frank Hines behind him. Defense, Josh Sweat. Adrian Goldsbury is behind him. Left edge, Josh Sweat. I think he is coming from the Cleveland Browns, but he's a long, a long time Philadelphia Eagle. So there we go. Right edge, Grady Jarrett, but he's injured. So we're going to be facing Puna Ford. Uh, D tackle, Andrew Ellis. And then we've got Sean Stackhouse, Amari uh, Andrews. Left outside linebacker is uh, Aiden Hutchinson. Qua Rosa. <laughs> what a name, man. Hidden Death Trade, Florida, rookie, there we go. I mean, I have to say, Aiden Hutchins is really one of my favorite 2022 rookies. You're really, really liking him. He did so well in his first season. He's so nasty coming around the corner. Really super aggressive. Really interested to see how his career will play out. Chris Barnes, former Packer. Ricky Polk is there. Chris Harden. Uh, Chris Barnes, definitely a very, very good one. Akeem Davis-Gaither at uh, 82 rated. John Dunlap behind him. Cornerback, Xavier Howard. The former Miami Dolphins still going pretty strong, I would say. You know, could be could be doing better, of course. But uh, yeah, we, we had to let him go. Um, at age uh, 33 and 87 overall. Uh, alongside Justin Wally, who's 23 and 87 with a superstar Dave trade. Really looking very, very nice. Uh, then we've got Curly Reed, a rookie. We've got Jack Chinchu. And we've got Dudley Zeigler. Next up, free safety, Julian Blackmon, 89 rated. I think he's a longtime Lion. Nah, he was with the Indianapolis Colts. Completely messed that one up. All right. Colin Jackson, a rookie. Now I've got JL Skinner, 96 rated, 24 years old. Out of Boise State. Jesus, man. Third ranked strong safety in the game. Wow, what a player they have on their hands there. Uh, the kicker is Evan McPherson, and the punter is Jonathan Hartwig. So there we go. Now we know the players, uh, let's decide on what we're going to be doing with them. I feel like uh, that we will just focus on our strengths. Tyler Buckner is such a nasty player, um, such, a, such a good quarterback. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have to really do our best here. I am seeing that the uh, depth chart has been switched again. Um, I will be going with splits for everyone because we do not want to aggravate anyone um, in terms of uh, injuries or in terms of uh, fatigue. So we're just going to be focusing on that. We're going to be running into the uh, defensive line. Uh, going to be going with the half pads for uh, the offense uh, because I feel like we really need to make sure that we don't uh, cause any injuries or too much fatigue that then causes more injuries. We are really, really riddled with those at the moment, and I don't really want to prolong that. I don't know why the sixth uh, focus player has been uh, sort of reverted here again, um, but we are going to do our darndest to really get a good result here. And let's start training. Defensive training results. A little bit of fatigue has been added. As you can see, the injuries, uh, nothing here. Malachi Moore picks up a quad strain. That is... Less than ideal, but it's okay because we will have to react anyways in terms of uh, the depth chart. Another quad strain for Peter Skorowski. God damn it, guys. <laughs> what is going on, man? Peter Skorowski is injury prone uh, like you've never seen it before. Absolutely crazy. All right, let's take care of the, uh, of the player upgrades first. And then we will dive into making the offensive line somewhat stable somewhat stable it is really strange uh we've we've picked up so many uh so many injuries over the course of the past few games can't really tell you why i can't i can't put my finger on it but uh yeah not to worry we're gonna we're gonna get through this somehow let's put some slot uh 
knowledge into Travius Hodges Tomlins. Liking that one a lot. 75. Derek Williams. Gonna be adding some more for him. Uh, really bummed out that Francis Maui go is injured because this will, uh, you know, really hinder his movement towards revealing his death trait. All right, so let's take a look at the lineup here. Uh, Moses, of course, is a no-go at uh, that position. Uh, I've got Tyler Smith here. We've got Jackson Carmen. Natani Muti is back. That is great, actually. Uh, Kendrick Green behind him. I don't know what's going on with the depth chart at the moment. Let's just let's just uh, shuffle that uh, quickly here. All right, this looks more more like it. I'm going to be putting Kendrick Green uh, up here. Don't want to have Moses there, of course. Um, then we've got Natana Muti, then we've got Jared Patterson, Tyler Smith at the back, that is good. We are missing uh, Peter Skoronski on the left side. I could put Tyler Smith there, maybe you, uh, work with, uh, with Jackson Carmen. Well, we're going to figure that out. But apart from that, everything looks to be pretty much in order. Uh, on defense, we of course have some problems here. I will be putting uh, Malik Muhammad up here as my uh, CB2. Let's help him, uh, you know, just find out the death trait quicker. Deshaun Womack, of course, high rated than CJ Craig. And I want to have uh, Adam Worry uh, above Keanu Colt. Definitely, definitely something that I think should happen here. Apart from that, we are looking pretty well set. And I really feel like we are ready to dive into the game. I don't think that there's anything else to take care of. No, we are going to head straight into the game at home Hard Rock Stadium against the Detroit Lions. There we go. Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Venue for today's game. And uh, it's a Sunday night primetime. That's actually nice. Tyler Buckner, let's take a look. 4,222 yards, 39 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Well, those are numbers that Talia can only dream of, but we have been getting better and way more efficient. And that is basically what I'm after. Of course, I'd love to have huge numbers, but the efficiency is what I'm looking at, meaning I want to have a very, very good uh, completion rates. I want to get first downs, and that is what counts, of course. Uh, we're going to be uh, lining up in the home uniforms, regular home uniforms, other lines in the regular away uniforms. All of that said and done and covered, we are ready for the game. All right, we're going to be first on offense, and we will be starting with an inside zone run left-hand side. Uh, let's test the waters here, right? Game day factor, well rested. All right, that is good. Kicking meter moves slower, also much appreciated. We've got Skinner and Justin Wally, and uh, we've got our side. We do have a lot more start studded offense here versus their defense oh, oh come on Bijan and we immediately get caught up in this weird bundle of our own players notable inactives we are missing Malachi Moore, Peter Skoronsk and Francis Maui Goa that is really horrible and uh, absolutely dissatisfied with the situation um, I do think that we could and can uh, backfill quite well but uh are we really uh, in, a, in a competitive situation at the moment? I'm not sure. Really not sure. Uh, we're going to start here. Bijan Robinson. Let's go with, uh, with the screen. And they're not covering him. They're not covering the screen. No help for Bijan. No help for Bijan. Uh, really strange. We're going to have Patterson is just sort of moving along. Very relaxed here. Two yards. We're going to go with uh, something like a halfback dive. Bijan Robinson, I want to break through here. Two yards. We're at home. We are reigning champions. Come on. We want to play like that. And again, I get stuck on my own players. God damn it. Tyler Buckner out now. And I bet you that is going to be a touchdown. That was a stupid play. That was a stupid play. The offensive line couldn't really uh, provide any coverage here. And uh, Bijan getting shuffled along, not getting that, uh, getting the, the needed distance. 83, and there we go. Second and six. Four yards. 
Last week, 183 yards, 1,760 on the season. Can we break? Can we break the 2,000 yards? I think we can. They're setting up super tightly here. So we're going to go the bench switch. Looking for Michael Mayer. There we go. Taken down. Number 32 was very quick on him. Oh, look at this. A new coach for the Lions. Probably a little bit surprising to see the former Washington Commanders coach there, but just gonna just gonna leave that be. As is inside zone run, a left hand side here, slight curve. Number 92 is gonna be a, the opposing number. I just wanna see blockage, and there we go. That was pretty good actually. Moving towards the left, four rushes for 24 yards at the moment. Not going to underestimate this team, uh, but of course we have to play uh, like the like a championship team would, right? Let's go with another bench switch. This time I'm going to be looking for Jalen Waddle. Ah, I changed my mind. Probably should have stuck with my gut there. Halfback zone weak left hand side run. We're going to be powering into number 98. Unless there's a good coverage and it uh, doesn't look like it. Third and four. We pick up six yards. That is probably good. We're going to go with the drive wide corner. We have a chance to get Mayer. I don't like his route that much. Bijan Robinson is an option. Jalen Waddle is an option. Really like those with a lot of, uh, lot of running, moving parts. And there we go. Bijan Robinson. Had to slow down a little bit to get the ball under control. Number 51 gets to grips with him. Seems to be quite the noise here at the moment. Uh, Talia having problems with the helmet microphone. And uh, only one more yard needed for Bijan to activate his X Factor. Uh, trying to push forward for four yards at the end of the first quarter. Here we go. Passing yards completed. Let's go with a mesh spot. Left, right run. Mayor left. Waddle right. I do have Bo Collins. Double takedown. Third and one. He was covered all the way. That uh, never looked like, like an easy catch, but doesn't really matter too much. Um, we get the, uh, the needed distance here. Uh, this is Bijan. Take him back. The defense uh, for the Lions is notoriously hard. Hard hitting. So I uh, wouldn't be surprised if they really, uh, you know, if they provide us with a very tough challenge here. Gonna go up the middle. A lot of stiff arming. Second and four. There we go. Six yards. I like that. Take away. Let's go with an ice. Oh, because I still think that the coverage for the set slant might be a little bit tricky. There we go. DJ Johnson, stiff arming his way forward, but I think he's taken down before he hits the pylon. So no touchdown. I think we're going to be at the one yard line. Yeah, there we go. Halfback gut. Let's go. Left hand side. Can we get this done? First and goal. We've got four attempts to break into this end zone. And we need one. All right. That was good. Well done, guys. And here we go. Here comes the Dolphins fight song. For the longest time, I thought it was Elvis. Because the voice is similar, but it's just this version of the fight song. Come on, D. All right, defense manages to hold him. We won't get that many uh, chances like this against this offense, right? They're very, very highly rated, very similar to us. And um, we really just have to make sure. Oh, there we go. Good block. Bijan with a hard hit here, of course, from the side. Uh, but we do push through. Drive wide corner. Let's go with this one again. I love the one with uh, Bijan going right. Jamar Chase going uh, left. And we just have a lot of options. There we go. First down completed. Aiden Hutchinson grabs a hold here of uh, Bijan. And that's that. 
This might work out well if we can drag the players over to the right hand side. And uh, there we go. This is Bijan's speed that is helping us out at the moment. Really evading the players. Zayvon Howard tried to get to grips with him. Couldn't really catch up. So we're going to go with the seam divide. Let's try and drag him apart. Looking for Bo Collins here, of course. Jalen Wall, also an option. Oh lord, oh lord, oh that was horrible. No, 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 that was bad. That was so bad. Oh, that was horrible. Julian Blackman. Straight into his hands. And we are producing a lot of uh, interceptions in the last few games. Just, just moved forward. And uh, that is our own undoing. There we go. 57 seconds on the clock. And we just really gave ourselves a huge, huge debuff <laughs> on that one. All right, off we go. And again, smacked away. Michael Mayer doesn't get into position there. Let's try dragging spacing. It is a good one, though, but I uh, think we will try something else. Let's go the bench switch here. Bo Collins, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle. Track that bounce out the 48, third and three. Let's go with the Z spot. But of course, we are going to change this to a beautiful curved inside zone. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Let's try and bring unrest into their formation. Three yards is what we need. Oh, this is actually... This is actually not bad. Going over to the left-hand side, I felt like I was going to be taken down quicker, but Bijan did find the space. A mesh spot is what we're going to do. Ron Rivera is uh, watching the proceedings on the field. And there we go. Oh, DJ Johnson. Tricky. All right. 21 seconds. We're going to call the first time right now at 18 seconds. I can't really rely too much on, uh, you know, on us getting things under control here. So we will have to prepare to take a field goal. Let's go with the mesh spot. I think that Michael Mayer, Jello Bottle will be good receivers. Uh, there we go. We're going to step out of bounds here at the 13 second mark. Let's go with another mesh spot. Mayor, Johnson, Chase, a lot of options. A lot of options is what we have here. And again, we do step out, second and six. We have eight more seconds. Tell you what, we're going to try bench switch here. This is a rather aggressive option. If it doesn't work out, we can always uh, call a timeout and just go for the field goal. Just want to move forward a little bit more. There we go. Four seconds on the clock. Ron Rivera not happy. But I don't mind that. We're at 35 seconds. Probably it's going to ice us anyways. And there we go. All right. Slightly slower field kick meter. And with one second remaining in the first half, we go into the locker room with a tie 10 and 10 in the third quarter we take over once more and uh, that is very very good all right let's go with an inside zone here left hand side beginning of the third quarter time is ticking down here's a snap off we go good push here <laughs> And that's an injury for Jared Patterson. Ah, did he injure himself on that shove? Because that would really suck. Quite bad. Second and three. Jared Patterson. Ah. What's up with our offensive line? Seriously. Really having problems. Uh, JC Trader taking over the middle. I mean, if push comes to shove I can always utilize what a hit man Jesus Christ did you see that it's a crunchy play that uh, was a blitz move um, but uh, we managed to 
get going. That is basically the best, uh, best case scenario, you know, just getting the runner underway and the blitzer is moving past you. Oh, there we go. All right, number one there again. Upper arm fracture. Jaw, oh, that is bad. All right, JC Treader, you're up. And that is a drop down by quite a bad margin, to be honest. Second and three. That is horrible. Another injury for the offensive line. I hate that. That is a problem because if the offensive line is not powerful, then they don't clear space. And that in turn really, really is a problem for our uh, for our run game. So here we go. Third and one. Just gonna go straight ahead. Don't really mind that stop too much. Just want to move ahead. Go to the go to the goal line. Get a touchdown. Keep moving from first down to first down and really just uh, collect points. And there we go. I don't know what that was exactly, but uh, that was a horrible, horrible move. All right, DJ Johnson, Michael Mayer. Jamar Chase on a very good one here. There we go. Right, now protect the ball. He's dragged back immediately. And there's Jamar Chase still going strong. Fantastic play. Number 39, that's Thomas talking to Tyler Buckner. Right, let's go with another mesh spot because that worked quite well. I think I'm going to go with Mayor now. Unless Chase uh, is free again. There we go. And they stop us pretty well. And this is a really solid defense right there. The Lions are very highly ranked, 91 rated defense. And uh, yeah, I know why. We do get a very tight window to move here. But uh, yeah, that is a little bit problematic. So let's see. What can we do here? I'm going to go with the drag wheel. I really like this one. I really like the route. I just hope that we have enough time. There we go. Could have been a little bit better, but luckily Mayor comes back and takes the ball away from number five to try to get something. Greg Rousseau checking out the, uh, the plays for the defense. Tall order here to put a stop to uh, this quite powerful offense. That uh, didn't work this time. He was covered. <laughs> he was covered. All right. Bijan Robinson, left hand side. We're going to try a slip screen here. It's a good shot. Oh my God. I hate that. Really hate that. You know, when there's a shove, the contact was there and then it's too weak. Because the screen was good. And then bump. But he doesn't push him out of the way, sort of pushes him into the way of Bijan Robinson. And that was just really, really bad. All right, this is going to be a blitz, isn't it? Bo Collins would be great. Poof, good God. I thought that one was going to be a pick, but uh, Reed only going to grips with... Uh, with Michael Mayer not going for the ball, luckily, because that was slightly high. That was a good one. All right. We're going to go the halfback dive. It is a yard. It is a yard. And if my offensive line can somehow produce enough space. All right, there we go. Up to the two-yard line, 12 seconds in the third quarter. We're going to let the clock run down. There's no need to pressurize anything here three seconds two seconds one second that's that they did go for a pass defense play here and i've got no doubt in my mind that once tyler buckner gets going again in the fourth quarter they will score a touchdown 
So we'll have to go with an inside zone left hand side now, slightly curved. And uh, I do hope we get inside. Uh, there's a space. There we go. Good. We're in. Bijan Robinson doing his thing at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Momentum fully stacked in our favor. So I do hope that that helps us. That that helps defense. Dolphins fight song is playing. There we go. Carter McKinney. Smith Treader. A lot of... Uh, a lot of fighting. Let's stop them. And we do that. That is huge, guys. That is absolutely huge. Great job. Our defense definitely, at the moment, keeping things alive. 63. Oh, that is a double stop here. And yeah. Kyrie McKinney on the left side is not really helping us. We're going to go to the depth chart. I think we need to reshuffle that a little bit. He's just not really that helpful at that position. So what will I be doing? I will be putting, oh, Kendrick Green cannot go twice. Do we have someone? I need one player that so that I can start shuffling. All right, uh, we've got Jared Patterson who's injured. So JC Treader is playing here. Um, I do think that Natanamuti might be a better center. So that is what I will be doing. I will be going with... Uh, I will put Carmen here. I will now put Natanamuti into the center position. I will be putting... Uh, where is he? JC Treader. He's actually a little bit weaker than... It's oh, not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that, guys. Let's dive back in. Can't live with this here. Okay, left guard. Uh, I would be putting, who, where, where do we have Kendrick Green? All right, he's on the right-hand side. We've got Jackson Carmen at right guard. At left guard, we will be putting, um, where is he? Tyler Smith. I think, I think we're going to be putting Tyler Smith here. And we're going to be putting... Jackson Carmen here. No, we already used him. Who do we have who's not injured? Jesus Christ. Netanyamuti is the center. Tyler Smith is the left tackle. Jackson Carmen is currently playing as right guard and right tackle. So basically, I can only put JC Treader there. That's the highest ranked player that is available. Uh, Carter McKinney would also be a possibility, but he's, he's a little bit low rated. If you compare the two... It's not that much off, to be honest, but the strength is a little bit higher. All right, let's try Carter McKinney at guard. Oh, that was a lot of shuffling. All right, let's see. I'm going to try to get Michael Mayer off to the left side. I'm really thinking of uh, maybe bringing in a veteran player out of free agency for the offensive line. You know, just a player that is pretty flexible highly rated and that we can use in the next few uh next few games uh, morgan moses might not be the best one to do that he does have the mentor tag but i feel like i feel like i should be really bringing in a player that can help us right now um because the players that we do have to be honest at the moment oh dear under pressure second and ten uh, let us go with, I want to have a clever play. Play action, deep read, nope. 29 seconds, right, we've got ample time to pick a good play. We're going to try a slip screen. Although everybody on the left side is pretty slow. But uh, you never know, might work. Yeah, whatever that was, it did not work. It did not play out the way I wanted it to. Let's go with an inside attack. Third and ten. We're super far out, actually. Wouldn't really want to go for a field goal from here. Let's go with the four verticals. Come on, Bijan. Break through here. Get going. I need you to be ready. Oh, and, ooh, that was actually good. That was good, and that is fantastic. First and ten for Bijan Robinson. Talia today, 21 and 27. Not fantastic. It's around 70% completion rate. I would say 
that is decent but uh, yeah let's go half back slam two minutes 20 seconds counting down of course and we're gonna start here with a yeah, that was brilliant. Second and ten. I think we also lose the. Uh, I think we also lose uh, the X Factor ability. I mean, we are in the lead here. If we go for field goal, that might also not be too bad of a move. But uh, yeah, still, I would like to get a safe, safe uh, option here. Touchdown. Good lord, guys. Uh, they really, at the moment, we're really having problems uh, creating separation on that front line. It's not really working that well. All right, let's go. We're going to try and drag everybody towards the right-hand side. We're up to 19 now. All right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Taken down. Are we out of bounds? No, we're not out of bounds, but they are calling another timeout now, which they... Obviously do. And uh, we now will be going for a halfback zone left hand side. Let's take a look. Is Bijan breathing normally? Yes he is. Alright. And here we go. We are in and we get another touchdown. That is super important. Kabam. Fight song is up and it's gonna be 24 versus 10. Here we go. Bijan finding a lot of space. Julian Blackman can't really, uh, you know, shuffle over. So here we go. Tyler Buckner, certainly in 24-17. We are uh, down to the 48th second mark. We're going to go with a 94 wheel here. It can mean, you know, we can still throw the game away, right? There's still ample time to do that. But... Uh, we're not going to go down fighting. They have one more timeout. It's a second and five at the moment. They didn't even need another timeout. Jesus, man. The Tyler Buckner, really scary, man. Really scary. It's a 4,000 yard season for him. Looking very, very in control. And there we go. Aiden Hutchinson grabs a hold here of uh, Bijan Robinson. It was clear that those two were going to collide at some point in time. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. That is... Uh, <laughs> that was a quick stop, all in all. Fourth and four. And there we go. Special teams. Field goal, 58 yards. Oh, this is never going to work, is it? Oh, all right. Time is up. I thought I had more time to go for the kick, but doesn't matter. 24 versus 17. Ron Rivera has to swallow his pride right there. Because he does have the uh, negative effect here. Talia Tagovailoa. Tyler Buckner shaking hands. Nice gesture. And here we go. The rating is actually not that great. Uh, I don't really understand why, because we have a good completion rate. All right, no touchdowns, one interception. All right, I do understand. Tyler Buckner, slightly better. In the rushing department, yeah, Bijan Robinson, a force by himself, three touchdowns. Receiving side, Michael Mayer, 69 yards. i really enjoying it that the tight end is really more of an integral position right now. Bijan Robinson, and we've also got Jamar Chase. We've got Jalen Waddle, DJ Johnson, chipping in a little bit here. Sacks allowed by color shot Nate Davis. Defense. Let's take a look. Solo black uh, solo tackle leader Blackman. Alright. Combined tackle leader Julian Blackman. Chris Barnes also pretty high up there. Tackles for loss, quite a few. Sacks two. One by Deshaun Womack, one by Greg Rousseau, which is nice, and two interceptions. One by Trevius Hodges Tomlins. And one by Julian Blackman. Alright, the game is over. We are continuing our positive streak but we have a new injury and this is really starting to look nasty the only players that are fit so far are the guards uh, we've got Pius Goronsky injured out for one more week so luckily next week he should be back again so the left tackle and the left guard are well uh, in control again then we've got the center 
uh, who's out with an upper arm fracture for four weeks. Oh, that hurts. Then we've got Francis Mawigoa, who's out for three more weeks. And then we've got Malachi Moore, who will be back next week. But these two really hurt because, I mean, Jared Patterson is just super important. Francis Mawigoa is my starter. So tell you what, I'm going to take a quick look into uh, the free agents pool at the moment. I do want to see if there's any interesting offensive line players. We do have DJ Humphreys, for instance, who we could bring in. Uh, Joel Nopum is hard. No, well, this is probably the best player that we can get at the moment at that position. Left guard is horrible. We've got Bert Gersh, Lemio, Bacon. Yeah, that's nasty. All right, Conor McGovern is here. Evan Brown. None of these are actually even worth taking a look at. Ben Cleveland. Hmm. Probably strength 92. That might be helpful, but 76 rated is just so bad. All right, right tackle. There's a few in here. We've got Titus Howard, we've got Nicholas Petit Frere, I've got Darian Kennard. Taking a look at those, I do think that uh, we could we could bring in one or two of these players and maybe cut one or two of the mentors because I just don't think that they are really helping us at the moment. You know, we do have we do have uh, you know JC Trader, so that is a, that is definitely a help. But you know, if I were to bring in. Uh, let's take a look here. Titus Howard is slightly older, 77 rated. If I give him a one year deal, you know, just pick him up for now. Speed and acceleration, these are both really horrible. Speed is slow, but the acceleration is slightly higher for Nicholas Petit Frere. So I'm gonna take him. 77 rated, that is bad. And uh, on the other side of the spectrum, I think we had DJ Humphreys who was looking to be more or less solid but all all of these are really not fantastic to put it that way is there probably is there a player here with a good strength rating who's the best strength rated player jared prater all right kyle urban kyle urban tell you what why am i actually looking at free agents instead of my practice squad can someone tell me that Please, I'm just asking. Just, just trying to make sense of all of this. All right, now what I'm going to be doing now is let's take a look at the practice squad. Are there offensive line players here? Yes, we've got Urban, so we will be bringing him, him in. Uh, there we go. Sign from practice squad. All right, because I mean he does have the same overall almost as the player that we did bring in, which is a Nicholas Petit. For I still think that we need him. Still think that he's important to have. Um, uh, looking at uh, Moses, he is not worth keeping, so we're going to be releasing him. It's not too much of a uh, you know of a thinking process here. Nicholas Petit for a right tackle. So we have a right tackle on the squad. That is good. That is important to have. Um, apart from that, is there probably a mentor that we could cut? I think we could actually cut uh, Nelson Aguilar. I mean, he is important for uh, for Cam Steed, probably and Carlos Still and their improvement. So that is a player that I would like to keep. Uh, CJ Mosley. I think we could cut CJ Mosley because we still need to still need to cut one more player, and I'm really unsure who to cut right now. Um, I think it, I think it'll have to be him uh, because there's just nobody. There's just nobody else that I could really cut without um, you know hurting myself. So Nelson Aguilar, thank you for the, your services as a mentor, but I have to cut you. And uh, right now, let's take a look here. We're going to generate the best lineup. Um, I will be putting. Urban over here because he's a standard um, standard left tackle. I will be upgrading him. Let's put one into power. All right, and another one into power, and bam! Just like that, he's 78 rated, and he's immediately the same uh, rating as Carter McKinney, but uh, just a little bit younger. Uh, we've got. Tyler Smith here, uh, then we've got JC Treader. Um, 
for Nicholas Petit for air. All right. I, I do think that <laughs> this setup is probably the best that we can hope for right now. Um, I will be going with Carmen here and I will be going with uh, Nitani Muti at center. I just think that I need powerful center on the other hand i think the other setup was a little bit uh was a little bit better nah. i'm gonna leave it as is for the moment because next week everything's gonna be shuffled anyway so we're gonna have to set all of this up again uh, from the from the start but yeah let's not dwell too long on this uh, i think that um i think that we are still in a good uh, competitive state so uh, let's see what we can pull off next week against the Bills in an away game, then the Jets at home, then the Patriots away, which is going to be absolutely horrible. <laughs> Last game of the season. And then we are going to be in the playoffs. We're going to get, we're going to make it into the playoffs for sure. The question is wild card or a divisional playoff round. And apart from that, I'm going to end the episode here. Can I say thank you so much for watching? I really appreciate you being here. And uh, as always, guys, take care. Thanks for being here and see you next time.